You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. From the tunnel here at the Link, Maryland, all over Virginia, just like you guys said it would be in the pregame show. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, Mason in the back here. Bruce, seen a lot of Final Fours. Tell me what you saw today on that field. Well, I'll be honest with you. I thought we were going to win, but not like this. Mason thought we were going to win this game easy. I'll give him credit. He said, don't even sweat it to me. But we were just better. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Our face-offs were better. Our defense was better. Our offense was better. Our overall game plan was better. It was just our day. And Tillman, and this is almost like surreal how they're playing now after the way they played toward the end of the year. It's like a new team we haven't seen. But think about it, Kelly three goals, Maltz two goals, five from the attack, Spanos two at seven. Seven goals from the attack, all right? And you know, a defensive goal and some midfield goals and we put the game to bed so early, it was almost like the last 12 minutes we just wanted to get through it without nobody getting hurt. And uh, listen, Owen Murphy might come back Monday, we don't know, but what a great, tribute to coach John Tillman to take this team at eight and five to the national championship game. And remember tomorrow night at probably nine o'clock, I know Wayne will put it on the site. We're gonna have Brett Makar. We're gonna try and get Brian Phipps and our whole crew to discuss the championship game right on Turp Talk, correct? And Wayne Turp. So tune in then, I think you'll really like it. Wayne, you and Mason take it home. All right, and then there goes Bruce back to the studio as quickly as he can to get ready. Uh, Mason, the defense was spectacular. They shut down the Virginia attack. They wouldn't let the ball get to the middle of the field. It was a thing of beauty. You know technically more about this than I do, so what did you see? Yeah, the Terps, uh, really physical today. Virginia, really, really tough double overtime game. The one day of rest that Maryland gets on them. There it showed, uh, Virginia's a little bit thin in the midfield, especially on the defensive short stick side of it and the long stick midfield. Uh, John Tillman, credit to, again, the game plan. Changes up the ride to get it to six on six to slow the game down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then just the physicality from every player. Braden Erksa coming out of the box. Braden Erksa on the ride, he looks like one of the Kavanaugh's. I mean, he's so physical, so dominant through that. And, and you're really seeing a team come together at the right time. And look, one more, and, and they're the champs. And that one more is going to be difficult. It's Notre Dame. If Maryland can beat Notre Dame, it certainly is a national championship team, a team for the ages because this was a different journey. This isn't what we'd seen before where you had some of the, maybe the greatest team ever who won a few years ago. As I said, after the game in New York, this is a chance for those guys who were much younger at that time to win their own championship. And now it comes true. Talking about physicality, there were some hits early in the game that set the tone. There was Weirman winning draw after draw. Eventually, he scores. And what was odd about that is right before that happened, we looked at each other and said, it's going to score. Yeah. And then he did. Uh, we'll talk about Notre Dame and what comes next after this break. Thanks for watching the Big Dog Post Game Show. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Hey, Rick Jackson. Who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know. Rakeem Jarrett, it's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, Plus, you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jackless Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the Big Dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. All right, wrapping this up from Philadelphia, we'll be back on Monday after the championship game. Notre Dame presents their own problems. Does Maryland have to do anything different to win that game? 
No, I think you're going to see a matchup of, of one thing, and it's one thing that you always focus on in, in high school and youth lacrosse, which I've been fortunate enough to coach. You always say, watch these games. I, we were watching it today, and every time they hit, you're like, that's a penalty in a youth game, but they just don't call anything. And there was a question in the presser to John Tillman about why his team's played so clean. If you watch lacrosse these past couple weeks, the flags are staying down. They're, they, there are not penalties. There are absolute bulldozer hits in these games that remind you of lacrosse of like in the mid-2000s yeah. out there. And they call a push, and you're like, where's the flag? <laughs> yeah. They ran the guy over. It's fun to play at that level. I think it is. It's it's really why a lot of people got into playing this game and, and what the future of the game looks like. But I'll go back to your question. With Maryland being as physical as they are right now, as dominant as they are right now, as pressure-heavy, you're going to see a lot of turnovers on Monday. The game's traditionally a mess of a game. But between the Kavanaugh brothers, the way that the Terps are riding right now, it's going to be a back-and-forth game. And it will more than likely come down to two things, and two things where I like Maryland. Luke Weirman against Will Lynch at the faceoff dot. And Logan McNaney in that goal for Maryland against Liam Entman, two of the best in the country, come this time of year. Neither one of them has had a bad game, and I don't think we'll see that. I think you could, might see a 7-5 type game. Maryland has stopped every good to great offensive team they've seen so far. Two of the best defensive players in the country, if not the two best, Notre Dame's goalie, Maryland's defenseman, Ajax Zapatello, who was voted the best player in the country this year, go up against each other. It's truly a championship game. It's going to be fun. It's going to be loud, and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks to Bruce Posner, who is off camera. Uh, thanks to those of you who watched the pregame show today. And Mason and I and Bruce will be back after the national championship game on Monday in Philadelphia. Good afternoon, and thanks for watching the Big Dog Post Game Show. Oh,